Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Saturday, everyone. May you all have a wonderful day today. Give thanks to God for waking you up this morning. He didn't have to do it. Some people didn't wake up this morning. So what are you guys going to do today? I'm so relieved that the heat is gone. That heat wave, I'm going to stop talking about the heat. But I know a lot of people don't like winter. They don't want winter to show up. But it's coming if you live in the Midwest. Um, so let's talk about intimacy today. Uh, who knows what intimacy is? Really is. I really didn't know what intimacy was until I met my late husband. Um... This man was the epitome of love and intimacy. I mean, he caressed my back. He patted my butt. He rubbed my feet, massaged my feet. And I felt like I got some ugly feet. <laughs> you know, big feet. I wear a size 10 shoe. Uh, he cooked. He fixed things. He provided. He protected. You know, uh, uh, intimacy is more than a sexual thing. Intimacy, intimacy means I see into you. No, into me I see. So, you know, it's like uh, you share souls with another person. And you can look at each other and don't even have to say anything to know what the other one is thinking or feeling. Um, you know, and it, it's about caring and sharing and just being uh, compassionate and patient and loving unconditionally that person. You know, uh, I never knew a love like I, I, I experienced with my husband. You know, and I've been married twice. The first one, ugh. But anyway, um, with Leonard, that man came into my life and I've never been one to be submissive either. But see, one thing I found out, people get submissiveness misunderstood. Submissiveness is something that you cannot demand a person to be to you. Submissiveness comes naturally. My husband commanded respect. He commanded um you know, just uh, authority. Just when he spoke, I remember one time we were on the porch early on when I met him. And he was talking. He was long-winded, as I am. He was long-winded. And while he was speaking, I interrupted him. And he said, I'm talking. And, oh, my goodness. I never had a man speak to me that way. And I instantly melted. From that point on, it was on. It was on. You know, uh, a lot of women say they need a man that can handle them. Um, I'm not going to say I need a man that can handle me, but Leonard definitely could. But he wasn't uh, aggressive with it. He wasn't arrogant with it. It was just something that he showed me. He showed me that he could lead. He showed me that he knew what he was talking about. He showed me, matter of fact, he inspired me. Now that my husband is gone, uh, I know there's a, not another man that will ever be able to fill his shoes. That man inspired me to do things that I never dreamed about doing. And even if I dreamed about doing, I didn't have the motivation to carry them out. Well, Leonard, he, he, he brought that out of me. You know, the man was very intimate. We could talk for hours. And he told me, I love how you talk to me. Because when it was some something difficult that I had to discuss with him, I would tell him, babe, we need to have a hard conversation. And he was always ready for it. He was always ready for it. You know, and our communication was a thousand. If I could give a, put a stamp on it, I would. Our communication was everything. 
You know, we had a few bumps in the road uh, because he was an attractive man. I was an attractive woman. And, you know, I was jealous. He was jealous. You know, but we had to just let each other know that neither one of us was going anywhere. Uh, my husband told me once that if he saw a woman that turned him on, uh, he wouldn't say anything to her. He would come home and make passionate love to his wife. I didn't know how to take that. <laughs> you know, my mind, I overthink. And I analyze everything, not as much as I used to. But I had to think, well, sure. if, if you come home and make love to me, will you be thinking about her? You know, you're like, hell no. But anyway, this man, he taught me what intimacy means. Intimacy is not always sexual. You know, and at our age, we appreciated the intimacy we shared. Oh, we had a banging up, you know, that life. It was amazing. He was amazing, you know, and uh, I was thrilled to the bone. <laughs> oh, and I miss him so much. I miss my husband so much, but I still feel his spirit, you know, I don't know what it is, it's just that man came into my life at an age where uh, I don't think, you know, I'll be having any more romances. Matter of fact, I don't even want any more romances. I just want companionship, if the Lord see fit for me to have that. I don't want another man, per se, a relationship, just companionship, you know, adult conversation, friendship. You know, things like that. Um, that's really all I have to give at this point. Uh, my life is peaceful. You know, uh, I, I strive for peace. I insist on peace. You know, in my family, if anybody has a, a disagreement, oh, we're not going to scream, holler, and shout. No, we're going to work it out. If my two granddaughters come to me with a disagreement, what am I supposed to do? Say you're right, you're wrong, and, and and have one feeling like I care about the other one more than I do her? No, I tell them I'm not getting in that. Go work it out. They love each other. Love is the key and the glue to any relationship. Family, friends, you know, whatever. Communication and love. Love will win over everything. You know, uh, and and really the only people that can really hurt you is people that you love, and they love you. So, I want to wish everybody a wonderful Saturday. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Uh, please comment and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you all. Have a wonderful day. Um, I'm, I hope I brought intimacy down you know, uh, as good as I can for you guys to understand. If not, let me know in the comments what you think. Okay, bye.